Yes, um, and uh, the, the, the very widespread critique of objectivity sort of drives me crazy because it's, um, it has this sort of eternal quality and it entails a, a quite unsophisticated understanding of what objectivity means or a way of sort of defining it very tendentiously as an impossibility. I think objectivity is really important and as a goal to strive for and the fact that people can't uh, achieve it doesn't mean it should be thrown out as a goal. It's like saying, you know, if so many marriages end in divorce, we really should abolish marriage. Um, there's a not a fun beach read, but a very important book that's just out that I'm writing about now uh, called Objectivity by uh, two historians of science named Lorraine Daston and Peter Gallison. And it's, it's not about the press. It never mentions the press. It's about, it's a history of scientific atlases. But, you know, from it you can get a very useful sort of vocabulary and te taxonomy and definition or a series of definitions of what objectivity is. And one of the things they say is objectivity has meant different things at different times in history. What objectivity is, they argue, and I find this persuasive, is objectivity is about subjectivity. Um, to hold objectivity up as a goal means that you believe that totally subjective responses to everything by people whose job it is to sort of seek information is not a good thing. And so you have to put some mechanism in place to try to avoid being just completely individual and subjective in how you look for information. And then the question is, what is the mechanism and how does it work and what are the strictures? Um, they make a forceful case that the idea that, you know, you, you have to be totally non-judgmental is one but only one of several uh, versions of objectivity. So to, to conflate objectivity with complete sort of stenography in journalism is, is not accurate, a refusal to take sides, a refusal to say one side's right and one side's wrong. There's another really good book about this, and also not about journalism, but you can kind of extrapolate, called Objectivity is Not Neutrality by Thomas Haskell, a historian at Rice University. And, and you know, again, it argues that uh, it, it is wrong to understand objectivity as um, a, a, requiring people not to have an opinion or not to make judgments about anything. Well, again, I, I'm comfortable with uh, Destin and Gallison's uh, uh, version, which is objectivity is any attempt to avoid total subjectivity in the pursuit of information. Um, and what form it can take, um, you know, the, of probably the most common form it takes today is uh, through sort of professional debate and communication. In other words, um, you know, academics do this in a very formal and structured way because they are licensed in effect and require a degree and all that. Journalists do it in a more informal way. Um, but the idea would be you belong to a sort of community that, that is involved in the same pursuit and you are allowed to, you know, say whether things are true or false or who's right and who's wrong um, and you share your findings with others and they're allowed to dispute them and out of a kind of vigorous uh, juried conversation um, the truth tends to emerge, not from just one person's report. <laughs>